but where, where do you go when you're starting from no belief and you gotta figure out how to believe in yourself to, to theirs? I got it. Find one optimistic, positive person. Stick around me. 100% man, there's only one way to change your mindset. Change the people that you're listening to. Like, it's crazy man, like, and listen, you know, I'm listening to you so you know a lot about me. I'm not like rah rah, this is the secret, sit on your couch, wish it to death. I'm not trying to be motivational here, this is practical. If you have six homies and five of them are negative, that's not as good as three and three. You know, and if the only person that you're close to right now in your tough situation is your older sister who thinks the world sucks because she is older and she has to take care of you, that's not gonna work out. Like, my, like, as corny as this may sound to an eight to 15 year old, whoever the nicest kid in your school is, become friends with them. Positivity is real, man. Optimism is real. It is a strategy. It's not some motivational BS, it's a strategy. If you actually believe that things are good or have opportunity, and you actually do something on that belief, you're off to the races. You're just off to the races. But if you think like Trump isn't gonna allow you to succeed, or I'll just be non-political, or Obama, or Bush, or Clinton, if you think the President of the United States is gonna impact your happiness, You've already lost. You're allowed some other man or woman to dictate your happiness. My big thing is, if anybody's ever done it, then you can too. If anybody's come from a prostitute mom and a drug dealing dad, and right, and were taken away into a foster home and were in 27 shitty foster homes and succeeded in happiness, then that means it's in play. And the fact of the matter is, everything has, every single terrible situation has one person that's a poster child of breaking through and winning, that means it's, a, that means it's on. The end. If they put their mind into a place where everything that they're about to deal with that's negative is actually building thicker skin, then they've, then they've already won. It's not about the habit of like, like to me, I'm, my habit, I wake up, I'm grateful. Like the phone didn't ring at night, and I didn't have to go to the emergency room because eight or nine people that I care about deeply are in trouble. That's a big win for me. I keep it basic, I'm being serious. Like, people don't know me well enough. I'm not trying to be altruistic here. That's, that's my framework. But my habit is mindset of life is good, like I'm grateful, and if like somebody punches me in the face or steals my wallet, I'm gonna look at it as an opportunity, man. I look at every negative as an opportunity. And I got people here like in this room right now that are upset, making $300,000 a year, had a perfect life and they're upset that like their Tesla's on back order. 